through the looking glass at the mount of hyperrealism. Art loves you so much that it instantly helps you with everything you need. Just stretch your reference image over the entire canvas in Krita and you have perfect shape and color reference. This beautiful first step instantly makes you an artist. Your first 10 hyperrealistic portraits will teach you about the nose, the eyes, the lips and hair, granting you an intuition about art and portraits and the human appearance, which is very special. This talent is also a very powerful reference point, very useful for comprehending other kinds of art. This first step takes you all the way up on one of the many mountains of art. From here, you can look at other mountain peaks. And perhaps most importantly, you can feel confident that there is a pleasant path up every mountain peak. We all love to create portraits. That's one of the huge reasons why the first step is so pleasant and marvelous. However, this may not be the case for painting nature scenery, for example. The process here involves taking a number of pretty photos outdoors on some fancy adventure and using them as shape and color reference. Because of the randomness of nature, you can do shapes freehand, though having real colors on hand is still very useful. The joy of portraits can be so overwhelming, and we are all so unique, that not everyone will care to paint nature. A similar situation applies to still art. Some people may not like drawing indoor things. Steps beyond hyperrealism are as unique as the personalities of the artists. Some will feel at home with pop surrealism, Others will use real-world reference images, but base their shapes and colors on marshmallows. It's very easy to get lost among all the other mountain peaks, as they are all so enchanting and sweet. Let us imagine our art printed on canvas and ask, Now, where would I like to see it displayed? Or in reverse, what kind of art do I need to create so that it looks great on a living room or bedroom or some other room wall? While this question may not sound too great to all artists, we must not allow our art to fade away with crashed hard drives or outdated accounts or lack of harmony. All our works of art need legs. Everything has to go out the door. And that means we should carefully consider the peaks that we are headed towards to. And simply ask if our works will display well. By extension, we can also ask if the series of works that we create will sell well. Here, portraits reveal that they are precious to the person in the painting, but strangers may not be too interested in portraits of other people. If you make all your portraits in a low-brow or pop surrealist style, which will make them appealing to strangers as a serious, the people in the portraits won't get the full pleasure of art from you as you will be distorting their appearance. So the big question is, what are the marvels in your painting or the next series of paintings that will make a stranger wish to purchase them? And where do you want your paintings to be displayed? And what kind of style and content do you need to make that happen?